Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn that how we are going to create a new project. Obviously, we have learned that. But now we are also going to initialize a Git repo. Now, I want to mention one thing this video. In this video, we are not going to discuss what is Git and how that thing works. I expect you know that we will be working on creating a new project and initializing a Git repo directly from the portal or I should say Azure DevOps portal. So as usual, I'll be creating a new project. So I will simply name it as simple. Uh, I would say my resume. So my whole goal is that I want to build a uh, resume using. Uh, uh, I'll see what I want to do with that. So this is my resume where you can see my skill set. Now, obviously, I'll keep it private right now because, again, I don't want to do that. And obviously, I don't want to worry about what is happening here. So I will simply click on create project. Now, once I'm done creating project, what I will be doing, I will be simply coming onto the left hand side inside this repos section. So I will click on repos. Now, obviously, I don't have a single repo inside this particular project, if I may. So I have three options. One is cloned to your computer. OK, so if we have some code or I should say anything else, we can actually clone that repo. We can push an existing repository from command line. So obviously the details are given here. We can import a repository. So if we have a zip file of that particular repository, we can simply import that. And finally, if we want to initialize that directly from the, I should say, the panel, we can do that. So what I'll be doing, I will be simply coming here and I will be clicking initialize because right now I don't want to focus on the other aspects of it. So I will simply click on initialize. Now you can see it is giving me a few options, add a readme file. So I have the multiple options. So like, let's say if my project is built on certain language, let's say it is built on Python or maybe it is built on node. Maybe it's an angular project. And I don't know why we are not getting read me for that. So right now, since I'm not worried about a lot of things, so I will simply keep it none because this is going to be a simple HTML project. So I'm going to simply click on initialize. Now what this is going to do, it is going to create a repository for me and it is going to add a readme dot, uh, sorry, readme.md file. You can see all the details inside here re related to readme or I should say this read readme.md file. Now, obviously, a lot of confusion we can have is what is happening. This is similar as creating a repository directly from your, uh, what should I say, uh, the, the portal of Azure DevOps. Now, the question is, how can I start contributing to this particular project? Because again, this is available in the browser and I have all my source code or I should say all set of expertise in my own machine. So what should I be doing? So I will be now telling you how we will be moving, uh, like may maybe we are cloning this project into our local machine. Okay, so what I've done now, obviously I have simply uh, sort of created a new folder structure inside my C drive. And this is a terminal, uh, terminal window for me. So what I'll do, I'll simply come here into this portal of Azure DevOps and I'm going to click on clone. So you can see I've clicked on clone. So it is giving me the command. So what I will do, I will simply copy this connected. I would say this particular URL. So I'm going to click on copy. Now I have another option as well. Like let's say I can clone in Visual Studio Code or maybe these different IDs which are available for me. We will be exploring this option later part of the series because right now my focus is doing everything hands on. So what I'll do, I'll simply right click and I will paste this particular URL which does not have get clone command. So I'll say git clone this particular URL and obviously I will put uh, my resume as the folder in which I want to create this URL. Uh, sorry, this particular repository. Now, one more thing we have to understand that th we have the right permissions in, in this particular uh, folder structure. Otherwise, this will simply give us the error. Let's see if I have the right permissions. So you can see it is giving me cloning into my resume. Now, Obviously, since I this is not a public repository, this is a private repository and most probably my Git credentials are not updated here. So it is going to give me an error. And I'm hoping for that error because this repository is empty. Yeah, so it is giving me an option to actually log in right now. It is giving me an option to actually log in right now. But what I'll do, I'll simply 
close this and I will use the alternative method. So you can see it is asking me for the password right now. You can see fatal user cancelled authentication. So what I'll do, I'll now type the password, but I don't know the password to my account because I have connected my account using, uh, I would say, GitHub. So what I'll do, I'll come back to the portal. I'm going to click on generate Git credentials. And you can see it is giving me the username and it was it is also giving me a password now i want to mention one thing this password is only one time you won't be able to see this password once this window is gone so please make sure that you copy and paste it somewhere safe or maybe it is uh, available with you so i'm going to come back to my terminal and i will paste this password and for some reason i'm not able to paste it i believe i'll paste the password and i'll press enter and again this password was incorrect so i'll do that again usually this happens when we are using command line so that is a challenge if i may and i will copy the password quickly again so that i don't miss out here now it is again prompting me right now i don't want to do that so i'm going to simply right click here and paste the password and this time it has taken that so you can see it has connected this remote azure devops uh, sorry i should say azure repos find three objects to send and unpacking objects so it has actually done a lot of things now what i'll do i'll actually open this particular piece of code in visual studio code so i will type c o d e dot so what it is going to do it is going to open this particular folder for me inside visual studio code so you can see i'm inside this my resume folder and you can see this is the same file which i had inside the visual or i should say azure devops account so this is how you actually create a new project and clone the repository i would say first initialize the repository and then clone the repository or i should say connect the repository using microsoft azure devops or i should say these various different tools now we have other tools available also we have git kraken and different tools available but i wanted to sh show a very simplest format because this is i feel that this is one of the fastest way to connect things so that is it for this video i just want to understand if you have any confusion any doubt put them in the comment if you need a career guidance, obviously in that case, there is a link in the description of this video or also in the comment section. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear because this is what we stand for. So thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.